Okay, so we're asked to solve these two equations, and this is simultaneous equations. But the issue we have is that we don't have um, a letter with the same coefficient. We've got 2 and 3 for the x's, and 4 and 8 for the y. So we could times top by 3 and the bottom by 2 to get the x the same, but it's probably easier just to times the top by 2 to get the y the same. So I'm just going to do that now. So I'm going to times everything by 2. It's important you get everything to times by 2. And I'm just going to rewrite the um, other equation underneath. Sometimes it's useful to have it in the same order. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> OK, so for simultaneous equations, we work downwards. So I'm just going to circle where I'm working. And we need to know the rule. And the rule is that the matching coefficient, if it has the same sign, we subtract. If it has different signs, we add. It's that simple. Now here we've got 8y and 8y. They're both positives. They're, di they're the same. So we know we're going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract going downwards. Okay, so we've got 4x take away 3x, which is just x, which is good. We've got 8y take away 8y, which is nothing. And we've got 4 take away 7, which is minus 3. So x is minus 3. But that's us only half done, because we need to find out what y is. So I'm going to look at that first equation, and I'm just going to substitute in the value for x. So 2 times minus 3 plus 4y equals 2. I'm just going to put my lines in. OK, so we've got minus 6 here plus 4y equals 2. So I'm going to add 6 both sides. So we've got 4y equals 8. Divide 4 both sides, and we've got y equals 2. And I can feed that into the second equation to see if it works. Uh, we've got minus 9 plus 16, which is 7. So we know it's right. 